Hey guys, Logan Dunning from logandunning.com. Have you ever seen this in Outlook or Office 365 where you're adding a calendar appointment and they have these cool glyphs or icons? So you could say that, you know, a meeting would be kind of two people or if you want to set a goal or anything like that, it's kind of nice to have, but they are kind of limited and they don't transfer over to the desktop version of uh Outlook. So I have a quick little hack here that you guys could find useful um, to add these in Outlook for desktop. So, you know, let's say, for example, I'm here and I say, um, you know, I don't know, doctor appointment. Right? You get that cool glyph. Now, if I switch over to Outlook, I'm just going to have to fast track over to wherever that is. See, you don't have the glyph, right? Um, now, even if they do add it in the future, it's what I'm going to show you will work regardless of the different icons that they allow. So if you're in Windows 10, like a newer kind of build or update of Windows 10 or Windows 11, what you could do is press the Windows key on the keyboard and then period at the same time. And it will bring up the standard emojis that you get on iOS, Android. It's like a common emoji library that's across um, all of it, all of the different platforms. It's essentially just a font that everyone has come to understand is that's the emoji font that we're all happy that everyone gets the same emojis because all these companies want consistency when things arrive or come or go that it will be that emoji and you don't have to install fonts. It's kind of a nightmare dealing with the, you know, fonts and stuff like that per platform. But now I'm just going to say, let's say doctor or doctor. Right, and I will do maybe, um, sure, oh, a hospital, that sounds cool, right? And then see how I put that there? Because that's really the font. It, it's up to the uh, operating system, um, you know, iOS, Android, Windows to interpret whatever that standard font is, right? So I'm gonna say that, I'm gonna say save and close. Right, and then you see here, even there, it's a different one. So even uh, you know, Microsoft doesn't have their uh, shit together, um, so to speak. But I mean, if Microsoft can't get something like that right, you know, as an application developer, there's very little hope for you and I. But hopefully, that's a, um, a more positive outlook um, in the future. I will work on that. Um, okay, so going back over here, you see how it's it's synced, right? Now you could probably just open this guy here and just get rid of this because for the most part you don't want to you know you want to have consistency so it's kind of nice like go in here and I'm gonna change this guy to let's say uh, Windows period and then I'll I will say doctor let's just do this um, like x-ray and then oh sorry why did that not work oh because you gotta click edit and then I'm gonna say uh, control uh, sorry windows period and then we will hit this and let's just say um, anytime you have doctor's appointment like with that icon it's an x-ray or whatnot or you could just say you know, over here like x-ray whatever whatever works for your um, you know if you use your schedule a lot um, and then if you go back over here um, it does take a bit sometimes but it will sync up um, See, that one for some reason didn't come through. Oh, there it did. But then when it's over here, it doesn't. So, I mean, they have some updating to do. So you have to play around with what icons work here versus when it's closed here. But either way, that should be a quick way for you. Imagine you had a big calendar with a bunch of things. You wanted to put like, okay, all of these meetings have like this icon and any of these types of meetings have these ones you can even categorize based on color if that icon's in the title so it automatically colors it um, but anyhow i hope you guys like that quick way of adding icons to a, a calendar that is in outlook for desktop um, that will also work for outlook for web thanks